Get back folks. Well, for this morning I've uh, recapped the power supply in this uh, Proton LCD. Well, I used whatever caps I could or had. Uh, I haven't replaced every one of them. I actually want to replace these two here but the problem's only on the 5 volts. This cap and the diode that's just hidden underneath it blew up and it lost its 5 volt standby. So with a bit of luck this will work. It's a decent television. It's got DVI input and everything on it. And there. Um, I'll try and find a long DVI cable and plug it into the computer. It's an LG Philips panel, so it's not too bad. And now is the moment of truth. I'm going to plug this thing into the wall and we'll turn it on. Alright, let's see what happens. No smoke. No picture. I think we're in standby. Power. I can hear noise coming from the power supply. I think I just need a signal. Let's play. Yeah, probably the dumbest fault ever. I didn't jam the two leads together properly. Or well, at least one might have a bad pin in it. But that's uh, come up alright. Haha, <laughs> sweet. This, this fault does come up on the forums a bit and um, apparently protons always do it. It's this 5 volt standby in here. It goes through this transformer here, which is 5 volts. There's a half wave rectifier and another little diode, a fast rectifier diode on the other side, which I've replaced with a BYV 96E, 1 amp, 100 volt fast rectifier. And the 3300 10 volt cap goes as well, if you leave it burning long enough. And in this case, it did burn a hole in the board. So I've done that. I've done the other little cap in the end there. That's a Nichicon. Um, yeah, just replaced anything that looked sus except for these two, so I might pull the board out afterwards and give it another go. That fan's noisy, so I might change that too. I've got a standard mini DC fan somewhere. Looks like it's got a filter on the back of it too. Yeah, it's still up. You can see the backlight through the back of it. Oh, that's good. I'm going to turn this thing around and plug into a good source. Let it run for a while. Yeah, I know it won't show up on the camera, but the picture's still a little bit noisy. Like it's not sharp. And you get this shimmering around the edges. So I'm thinking I'll finish recapping that power supply now that I know it's going to work. And hopefully that'll go away. It just seems like noise coming through the, um, the system from the power supply. Because it has copped a bit of a beating during that burnout. I'm also wondering if something further down the line copped a bit of a hammering as well. There's a lot of caps on the main board. Um, I might even pull that main board out and change all of them. Because uh, I'm sure they would have copped a bit of a hiding once the uh, voltage went up. But overall, I'm quite happy. I'll try it using uh, DVI input as well, because this is still in low quality analog from the DVD player over there. It's nothing special. So I'll try and move my computer or a computer and plug it in. Actually, I got a computer from Mark yesterday or the day before. So I'll plug that in and see what it does. Okay, well the noise must be coming from the DVD player because this is just beautiful running uh, DVI into it. Maybe the DVD player is getting a bit sad and I don't notice it on that old CRT television which is actually a good one. It was a very expensive Panasonic CRT but eventually I'll replace it with one of these. This one's Brad's. I'm going to return it to him as a favour for uh, doing or getting me the Jaguar and doing some work on it. So. This one goes back to him, unless he really doesn't want it, in which case I'll probably buy it off him. Yeah, this monitor's cracked the shits because of the resolution I'm running, but it's working. I have to play a game next, see how that looks. Yeah, screen format needs a bit of changing, like the width versus height, but apart from that it's working fine. It's running it on both monitors. I think I'm, yeah, I've got to find one of these for myself, or at least get that TAC HD plasma finished. That's still sitting in the corner. I've got to rebuild the power supply on it as well. But the primary is short. 